Praise God. Bwana asifiwe. Eh uh, as you have heard my name is Mwangi Kiguro Isaac. So let me start with Isaac Mwangi Kiguro and this morning I thank God for his salvation that he has worked with me and has given me everything that I have. I want to take this opportunity to thank our canon for giving me the opportunity to share the word of God today and also being used by God to enroll me to this leader ministry and also I also to thank my colleagues lay leaders who have worked with me all through since December up to now I can say it's is Ebenezer God has been with me praise God uh, let me say because of those who don't know me very well we have never interacted I'm a father of two and married to Sophia Waboy who served in Sunday school ministry Today, I want to share the word of God from the book of Luke 24 from 13 to 35 and the theme for today is open my eyes and it is the journey to Emmaus and for those maybe we come from the same village we pronounce the word Emmaus Emmaus Sidio yes and it came up very well it was the journey for the apostles or the disciples of Jesus and remember they had undergone a very difficult time and a most challenging moment So Jesus Christ the person who they had worked with him for many years and also you remember even Matthew 19:27 that even Simon Peter asked Jesus what is our help what shall we have as we left all our careers we left our families and we were able to follow you and Jesus was promised them a, a throne also a hundred folds and more so to inherit the eternal life bona asifiwe so those are the challenges maybe even the disciples of jesus sometimes some of that sunday after jesus was died they were asking themselves they didn't believe they were in moment of disbelief and it was challenging moment for them and that's why maybe even that time they could not even sense Christ or even sense the presence of Christ in everything what they were and they were believing and today even us sometimes we face a certain journeys a challenging one maybe which keep us even away from God even when maybe canon every time is preaching to us and telling us that Jesus is passing this way maybe because of maybe the situation you are in you can't sense Christ you don't even believe you you are asking yourself why does this god only visit my neighbors why not me those were the moment for the two disciples were, when they were walking to a mouse and this story or this event to a mouse this afternoon is going to encourage us and is going to teach us how maybe to undergo when we face those challenges from Luke 24 verse 13 to 16 as they were going to a mouse which we are told by the bible it is 7 miles from Jerusalem and it's about 10 kilometers and discussing and maybe mourning Jesus and discussing so many things what happened maybe those that, that moment and as they were walking along we a stranger joins them and joined their conversation and we are told by the word of god that they were kept from recognizing Jesus and this stranger who is Jesus verse 17 and 
He asked them, what are you discussing together as you walk along? And we are told, the Bible says, they stood still, their faces downcast. One of them, named Cleovas, asked him, are you the only visitor in Jerusalem? You don't know. Maybe nowadays, when maybe somebody is narrating you a story which is trading, and you maybe say you are not aware, you'll be asked, you don't know what is trading nowadays in our platforms, in our social media. You need to know. You need to, yeah, you need to know. Then Jesus, verse 19 to 21, is asking, what things? Then Cleophas replied to him, it's about Jesus of Nazareth. He was a prophet, a powerful in word and deed before God and all people. Look at the words they are using, the past tense. That shows a disbelief that he was a, path, he was a prophet. Yes, now they recognize, yes, he was a powerful in word before God and all people. Even us, even from the testimonies that we just heard from our sisters. Maybe when things get dark in our life, maybe we lose even our loved ones, or a tragedy happens. Our hearts sometimes may feel, may, may not sense Christ. It is easy also to say, maybe he's not God. Maybe Jesus is not as powerful as I thought. But as we continue, we will see that we are alone, that Jesus is really on the move with them. Verse 22 to 24, even they are giving testimony to Jesus. Our women this morning, they, came to, they visited the tomb and they didn't find his body. And they came and told us that they had seen a vision from ages that told them that Jesus is alive. Even they also remember they sent one of their colleagues and he confirmed how the same that women had told them. It is the same with us. Maybe when we are struggling, we are fatigued or frustrated. We have selective memories. We don't remember what God or Christ have done for us for many years or for a long time. Maybe what we select to see, it is that disbelief. We don't remember that Jesus had done good things for us all. Let's see how now Jesus answered them. Verse 25 to 26. He said to them, How foolish you are, and how slow to believe. Buona asifiwe. Sometimes we find ourselves in such foolish moments, see you? Then we don't believe even the word of God or what God has even promised us. Then verse 26 is reminding them, did not the Messiah have to suffer these things then enter his glory? And you know very well Isaiah 53 talk about the suffering servant. They could not remember all that. What they could only remember is the journey, how it's difficult for them. Even narrates the scriptures. You see now the conversations. It's all about, it's, they're now going to scriptures to encourage themselves. Even verse 27 is beginning with Moses and all the prophets, and he explained to them what was said 
in all scriptures concerning himself. So sometimes when we find ourselves in such situations, when you can't see Jesus, look at the scriptures. When you can't see what Jesus is doing in your life, or you can't hear him speaking to you, look to the scriptures. Go to your Bible, see him there, hear him there, because that is the conversation that Christ now is engaging his apostles. Verse 28 to that one. And as they approached the village to which they were going, Jesus continued on as he was going further. But the apostles invited Jesus with them. And the Bible says, verse 30, when he was at the table with them, he took blood, gave thanks, broke it, and began to give it to them. Then their eyes were opened, one as he feel, and they recognized him, and he disappeared from their sight. So even us, let's invite Jesus, even in our struggles, and we open our eyes, and be able to see the future is bright with Christ. Verse 32. Let's hear the testimony from them. They asked each other, Were not our hearts burning within us while he talked with us on the Lord and opened the scriptures to us? So when we engage the word of God, our hearts will keep burning, strengthening us and reminding us that our Christ who called us is able to do wondrous things. Afflictions, they are only for the, for the righteous, they are just for a while. But our good Lord will be able to deliver out of them all. Verse 33 to 35. Then they got up and returned at once to Jerusalem. And they were able to narrate all what happened with that small journey and how they have seen Jesus. And from there, they continue believing and trusting in God that in Christ, the Christ has risen and he has walked with them. My takeaway this afternoon or this morning is to encourage all of us. When you can't see Jesus, look to the scriptures. When you can't see what Jesus is doing in your life or can't hear him speaking to you, look to the scriptures. Go to your Bible, see him there, hear him there. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.